Hey guys, Brandon here with Exotic Cars 19. And one thing that I had recently thought about was ever since I got the GT350 about four or so months ago, I've only made maybe one or two videos not regarding the GT350, let alone it's probably been nearly half a year since I made a video uh, regarding the C7 Stingray. Uh, but it's still here. And so I thought I'll do another one of these point of view driving videos I made a while back with this car. Um, but I also made a point of view driving video with the GT350 and that turned out pretty good. I guess the only thing that could have been better is like a rear mic. So I have a GoPro Hero 4 uh, pointed skyward, but that's just gonna be for exhaust. And so hopefully it comes out pretty good. I also have the uh, Hero 5 on my head. So we'll do another one of these point of view drive videos, but I'm starting the video right now uh, out here because this car hasn't started up in maybe a week and a half or so. So should be decently loud. Let's see here. crazy the size difference between these two I, it'd be probably interesting to make a size uh, comparison or just comparison in general on these two cars that might only be interesting for me but anyway very very different Let's go ahead and open up the garage here let it warm up a bit more before we get rolling but uh anyway yeah this is going to be kind of similar to the last night drive with the gt350 uh but before we get you know stopping on the car on the uh on the highway and all that stuff i think i'll kind of talk some uh a little bit i got some things uh corvette wise uh worth mentioning zr1 and all that fun stuff so we'll make it too much like a vlog or none of that garbage i'll be uh sure to get a couple good pulls in but anyway get a interesting conversation going once the thing gets uh, warmed up so anyway i think the last time i made a video with this car a while back uh i think the channel was at maybe 14 or 15 000 subscribers or something like that so at the time i'm making this video we're nearing in on 21 so you know a few thousand subscribers later you guys uh your recent subscribers may not know this car but this is a 2015 uh c7 stingray uh z51 that belongs to my dad so this is his daily uh if he can uh on bad weather or whatever he'll just take uh my mom's um, uh suv it's a just bmw x3 but uh yeah when he can he uh he definitely dailies this so that's kind of cool um but yeah i uh i like to drive it every now and then i drove it a lot more often when i had a brz ever since i got the gt350 uh hadn't really had the itch for it so it's kind of nice to have an excuse to get back in it for this video uh, but yeah, this is an eight-speed automatic. Uh, at the time he got that, I thought it was a great transmission. I still do, don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, if I were ordering a Corvette, I would get a manual. I just recently fell in love with manuals more than I uh, ever have been, uh, we're going back to back with two different manuals. But this eight-speed's perfect. The way I would describe this eight-speed automatic uh, very quickly is if you leave it in drive, it's very, very nice. Look at this guy running a red light. Anyway. Um, the way I would describe the transmission is very good no matter how you're driving slowly or quickly as long as it's in drive As soon as you put it in manual mode, which we will on the highway. I made a video on this uh, Specifically, it is a pretty quick shift, but it's not uh, Instant it's delayed as far as like the pull to the actual shift itself uh, So yeah, that's why I personally would get manual because I want to be involved But the transmission is not bad at all It's very smooth for the type of buyer that would get a Corvette and automatic if you know what I mean So like my dad someone who wants a daily it, but anyway um, It'll be interesting to see what happens with the Z uh, ZR1 and all that kind of stuff. I don't exactly know. I'm sure it's already out what transmission they're putting in that one, but I don't know. Obviously, it's going to have an, uh, a manual. That's probably what I would go with. I think it's interesting. The C7 Z06 and ZR1 is the first generation of Corvette C7 where it can be had in a soft top and an automatic if you so wish. Anyway, I'm just buying time until we're able to get on the uh, highway on ramps where we can do a couple of hard pulls uh, legally anyway. But yeah, uh, hope to see some uh, zero ones and all that good stuff on the road. That's gonna be uh, pretty cool representing America. But yeah, I've enjoyed my experience with this C7 Seeing Ray, but uh, a lot of people have asked me recently how it compares with the GT350. And honestly, just two very, very different cars, but uh, they're both pretty darn fun. Yeah, I have the valves open right now. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, put it in manual mode right now. I'm in the seventh uh, gear. Uh, flip it down and uh, let's see. So I can't heel toe myself, so I don't really have control on the sound, but I'll try to do a pull here. T 
tell you what, I think that's enough talking. As soon as this minivan clears and I have a right, I am uh, on the on-ramp and we'll just do a couple pulls, let the exhaust note do the talking, and then I guess I'll wrap it up at the end of this video. Unfortunately, um, it's still 617, although it's dark, so a lot of people still driving back from work. I think I was able to get like two pretty decent pulls in. I try to, you know, mess around with the paddle shifters, uh, blip down and all that good stuff. So maybe you guys got some decent exhaust sound. You could go back and forth watching this one in the GT350 video, give you guys a little bit of uh, comparison. But that kind of makes me think, like I said earlier, I, I kind of want to uh, make a video comparing the GT350 and this car, not in a kind of, you know, head to head motor trend ver uh, variant, obviously, but in a weird way. I don't know, just because I have access to both of the cars and kind of see some interesting perspectives. So yeah, uh, I don't know, because I haven't driven this in a while, but it is uh, certainly fun. 
Uh, but anyway, just in case I can't get any more uh, fun driving, I think I'll just close it out here. Or if I do, I guess I'll just end the video with that. But anyway, that should do it for this one. I'm sorry it, was, uh, it wasn't as exciting as I was hoping, but nonetheless, just a kind of somewhat quick video uh, randomly uploaded. But uh, actually, quick update. Um, this weekend, I'm, I think I'm gonna upload this on Wednesday, the day I shot it, Wednesday or maybe Thursday. But this uh, weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, there's a track day at the Circuit of the Americas. I'm not going to be participating in it, but I haven't made a you know track day spectating video uh, in a long time, so that'll be kind of cool. Maybe some uh, fun stuff will be there, some cool Ferraris and whatnot uh, is expected to be there. So anyway, I'll make a spectating video on that. Maybe meet some people, make some ownership reviews, because I think I need to branch out a little bit from the GT350 videos, go back to my roots. But anyway, that should do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.